welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many Android developers. Our viewer asks, how can I reference views with the same ID in different layouts using Kotlin Android extensions? Let's break down the issue. In this scenario, our viewer has two layouts, NumInfo and NumInfo Pack, both containing a view with the ID circle. They attempted to reference the view using layoutName.circle, but encountered an error indicating overload resolution ambiguity. The error message suggests that the compiler is confused about which circle view to reference even though the viewer is using inetview.circle. This is a common pitfall when working with multiple layouts in Android. In this video, we'll explore why this happens and how to effectively manage view references in your Android projects. Let's get started. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. In your Android project, you have two layouts with views that share the same ID, circle. This can lead to ambiguity when referencing these views. When you try to access inetview.circle, the compiler gets confused because it sees multiple definitions of circle from both layouts. To resolve this ambiguity, you can use the findViewById method instead of relying on synthetic properties. This way, you can specify the layout explicitly. By using find view by ID, you can clearly indicate which circle you are referring to, eliminating the ambiguity. In summary, when dealing with views that share the same ID across different layouts, prefer using find view by ID to avoid confusion. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user suggests a solution for referencing views with the same ID in different layouts using Kotlin Android extensions. They recommend using import aliases to avoid name clashes. They provide a code example where they inflate a layout and set a background resource for a view. However, they mention they can't test it right now. Finally, they ask for feedback on whether the solution works, emphasizing the importance of resolving the name clash. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.